Chord spacing between 1 and 2 is A, between 2 and 3 is B, and between 3 and 4 is C. A, B, C. Okay, this is the Stealth Knot by SFS Weaver. It's a four strand core. Um, we're going to have our weaving cord and our accent cord. Uh, for this type of setup, I'm putting the accent cord in the back and the weaving in the front. And they're both going down A and C. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, you know the first knot is always eh, the most difficult one. So we're going to grab our right weaving cord. We're going to go down C. And we're going to go underneath the left cord. Okay, and keep this loop open because we're going to be using that. Now we're going to grab our left weaving cord. We're going to go down A and to the right. Okay, now we're going to grab our right accent cord. We're going to go underneath, out through the loop on the right. So we're going to pull it out. And then we're going to go down B. Down B and take it to the right. Okay, now we're going to grab our left accent cord, we're going to go under, out through the loop, on the left, down through B, and take it to the left. So it's going to look like that, and you might want to start getting these two knots over here pretty much even. Okay, then we start pulling. Tightening up and pushing it up. You want the left and the right accent cord to be even on this pull. Okay, so let's do a couple more. We're going to grab our right weaving cord. We're going to go down C and to the left. And remember, we're going to grab our left weaving cord. We're going to go over the one that's coming from the right, down A, and to the right. And keep your loops open. All right. Grab from underneath our right accent cord. We're going to come out through the loop on the right and down through B. We're going to grab our left accent cord, we're going to come out through the loop on the left, and we're going to go down through B again. And we're going to take the cord to the left. And even it out like I told you, more or less. Then start pulling the weaving cords and push it up. Tighten it up. And don't forget to get them even. There we go. Okay, let's do a couple more. Right weaving cord, we're going to go down C and to the left. And remember, it's going to be underneath the left one. Okay, keep the loop. Left weaving cord, we're going to go down A and to the right. Once again, that's what it looks like. Grab our right accent cord. We're going to come out through the loop on the right and down through B. And take the cord to the right. Okay, our left accent cord. We're going to come out the loop on the left and down through B. And we're going to take it to the left. Then we'll start evening it out. Okay, and then we pull our weaving cords. Okay, let's push it up. Let's do two more.
I'm going to grab our right weaving cord down through C and under the cord on the left. I'm going to grab our left weaving cord down through A and to the right, keeping our loops. All right, now we grab our right accent cord. We're going to come out the loop on the right and down through B. Uh, one more thing, they have to be underneath all the other cords when you pull it. There we go. Now we're going to grab our left accent cord and come under and out the loop on the left and then down through B. Okay, and don't forget to start evening it out. Push it up a little bit. Okay, now we pull our weaving cords. So yeah, keep playing with it until they're actually even. There we go. Let's do one more. Gonna grab our right weaving cord. We're gonna go down C and to the left. I'm gonna grab our left weaving cord down A and to the right. Okay. Right accent cord out the loop on the right and then down through B. Good thing about this knot is that there's no difficult pulls. So it's just basically tensing the cords and that's it. Come out the loop on the left and down B. Once again, we start evening up the knot. Bring it up. Pull the weaving cords. All right. That's it. Take it to the end and have fun.